is that a golf term? I don't know. I don't know anything about golf. Forget I said that. Right on target? Anyhow. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen and I am the Restless Thrifter. I'm going to be talking to you about what sold for me in the last week. So July, hmm, oh dang, July what? I need a calendar. Oh boy, for those of you who like raw, uncut videos, you may be getting one. I may not have time to really edit this. And I don't even know what day it is. Today's the 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> I am videoing this on the 23rd. This is going to be covering sales from July 15th through 21st. I just got into town from a, a quick little weekend road trip a couple hours down the road to Waco, Texas, and I stopped in Waxahachie and Italy, Texas, on, or I think they say Italy on the way um, there and back. So I picked up a bunch of stuff and I'll be videoing that haul sometime later this week. But first things first, I'm gonna tell you what sold for me. Okay, I just did a little bit of quick math for you. So um, I sold 25 items, I think. Let's see, 25 items, yes, this week. And I had some pretty good sales. I'm gonna be doing three categories as usual. That is top sales, fast flips, and bad buys. And then I'll briefly kind of go over all the other sales, um, just mentioning a few things so you kind of get an idea of what the other items were. And then I'll give you my total. So what I made total, including what the profit was and my averages. I will also give you the title, which includes all the keywords that I use and how many days it took to sell, which platform it sold on. It'll either be Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, or Facebook Marketplace this time. The price it sold for, which in some cases will include the cost of shipping, the cost of the item, like what I paid for it, so my cost of goods, and then my total profit for that item. Let's start with the top 10 sales, and I'm gonna go in reverse order from least to most profit. The first one is a hat. It's a dope snapback trucker baseball cap hat, black on black embroidered skateboard. This took 144 days to sell. It sold on Poshmark for $22. I had paid $1.09. I think this might have been a Ben's pickup and my profit was $16.51. This is a streetwear brand that I know nothing about, but I thought it looked pretty cool. This sold after finally relisting it for the umpteenth time. Um, I relisted it on July 1st. Next item is a Prana size XL pants, Summit Capri gray black stretch waist water repellent. These are some activewear pants they sold in eight days, so almost a fast flip. I'm qualifying anything seven days or less as a fast flip on eBay for $28.30. Cost of item was $2.64 and my profit was $17.12. This had really good um, sell through rate, this particular style of Prana at 53%. Um, I picked it up on a thrifting trip when I was going from Denver to Dallas in Wichita Falls. Next item is something from my death pile. So I did a video um, a few weeks ago where I picked 20 items from my death pile that could bring me the most value. Either they were gonna sell fast, um, everything had a pretty good sell through rate, I think of 40% or greater, and things that might bring me a high profit too. This item didn't bring me high profit, but it did sell quickly. In 19 days, it is a fresh produce, size large cardigan, periwinkle blue, V-neck, button front, long sleeve. This was new with tags and it sold on eBay for $30.72. The cost of goods was $3.67. My profit was $18.34. This makes the, it the sixth item from my 20 in that death pile challenge to sell. So that's, pretty good. I'm doing well. I want to try to get all 20 of those sold within 30 days. And I have already relisted everything that hasn't sold just to get it out there. This had a 66% sell through rate 
And I got this at my favorite honey hole in Denton, Texas. Um, they just have great prices. Next item is a Timberland vintage size large denim jean button up shirt, collared medium weight. This, um, as it says, is a vintage item. It took 220 days to sell, sold on Poshmark for $26. My cost of goods was $2.13 and my profit was $18.67. I relisted this five times. I don't expect vintage to sell really quickly, so I'm okay with it taking 220 days. Vintage is just looking for the right buyer. Um, I still would have picked it up even though it took so long and, you know, just relisting it and getting it out there in front of people is the name of the game. Okay, next is a pair of Eileen Fisher Woman Plus Size 3X Ponty Pants, black pull-on stretch straight leg. These were in beautiful condition. They sold within the same day on Poshmark for $41. That was an offer that I accepted. The cost of goods was $5.41 and my profit was $27.39. And I would buy them again all day long for that amount. I'd probably spend up to eight to $10 on Eileen Fisher pants if they were in really good condition. Next item, I love selling plush. It makes me so happy when they sell for good money. This was a Jelly Cat London Willy Walrus plush stuffed animal toy, new, new with tags, 18 inch by 12 inch retired. He sold in 11 days on eBay. For $50.20, my cost of goods was $5.37, and my profit was $30.12. None were listed in the U.S. at the time that I purchased this. Um, there were some listed in the U.K. When I finally listed it, I still think there were none listed in the U.S. in this particular configuration where he's um, laying the way he is. There's another walrus that looks a little bit different. And I picked this guy up in May when I was on my way back from Denver to Dallas um, at a ARC thrift store in Pueblo, Colorado. Next item is a J. Jill size extra large, 100% linen, tunic top, V-neck, three-quarter sleeve, black minimalist natural. Uh, I put natural in there because it's a natural fiber. This took seven days to sell. Quick flip on eBay for $32. Cost of goods was $1.08 and my profit was $30.92. And I picked this up also on a thrifting trip from Denver to Dallas at Noah's Ark Thrift Store. I think that's also in Pueblo. Hmm. Is it in Pueblo? No. Can't remember the name of the town. It's a smaller town than Pueblo. All right, three more items in the top 10 and the next is a Streets Ahead size medium leather belt chunky crackle boho western cowgirl punchy. This took 48 days to sell on eBay, sold for $76.82. I'd listed it higher, took an offer. Cost of goods was $4.35. I think it might, my cost of goods may have been a little bit lower than that. Um, my profit was $46.56. And there were others listed in a size small, um, somebody had listed one for $55. Comps were anywhere from 35 to 76. I listed it high because these belts retail in the hundreds. This one probably was around 225 and they're sold at Anthropology. I don't know if this particular one was sold at Anthropology, but this brand is sold there. And go to their Streets Ahead website. Um, you know, the branding was very, just subtle. I mean, it's on a belt, so it's kind of engraved in the letter. And I didn't think it was going to be anything worth a whole lot. So I was surprised when I looked it up. Um, I would have picked this up regardless of the brand though, just based on the style. And it was in beautiful condition. Next item is a Free People size large embroidered fable mini dress, rare colorway, gauze flowy, rare colorway. This dress comes in other colors, but I found no other listed nor sold in this particular shade of blue. So I did include rare colorway. Um, it sold in the same day on eBay. Someone had sent me an offer, it sold for $86.62. My profit was 
My cost of goods was $13. I bit paid up for it because it was a free people maxi dress with beautiful embroidery. I had not looked up comps when I purchased it, but when I researched it later, I was pretty happy. And my profit was $54 and two cents. Um, you know, this was on eBay and I had it promoted. And so that's where some of that went is within the fees. Comps were 30 to $80, but none listed in the same color. And um, the average sold price for this dress was 72.72. So mine was right on par there. Um, right on par, is that even right? Last item in my top 10 sales was a Hickey Freeman size 48 regular Laura Piana Super 130s wool pinstripe two-piece suit navy. I picked this up in Farmington, New Mexico when I was thrifting. Um, I was on a trip to, where was I? Uh, oh, my brain today. Let me take another sip of tea. Pagosa Springs, Colorado. And Hickey Freeman does sell really well. Um, this was a bit of an older style of suit, so I ha didn't have it listed real high. I took an offer and it sold for $104.49. And one day on eBay, my cost of goods was $17.50. I paid up because it was two pieces and my profit was $60.07. Okay, so that's everything in the top 10 sales. I just have two others that are fast flips for the week. And the first one is a, it's sort of a fast flip. It's a New York laundry size 2X hooded orange floral soft long line button detail top. And I say sort of a fast flip because it did sell same day on Facebook. However, I had had it listed on eBay since December. As soon as I put it over on Facebook, it sold for $21.12. Nope, $21.75. My cost of goods was $4.35 and my profit was $10.50. I had bought it thinking I would wear it if it didn't sell, and I kept thinking, oh, I'm going to get that, um, you know, out of the bin and wear it, and I just never did. And I'm glad, because now it sold. And my last fast flip is a mod cloth plus size 3X satin blouse tie neck button front long sleeve maroon red. And I probably could have sold this for more if it didn't have some discoloration on it. Um, I had washed it and then there was still some discoloration and I didn't want to get, you know, give it another try to, to keep trying to get it out. So I just listed it kind of low. It sold in three days on, on Facebook. Mod cloth does really well for me and um, plus sizes especially. And it sold for $18.55. I'd paid $3.24 and my profit was $8.60. I picked this up just recently um, in June at uh, St. Vincent de Paul in Dallas. Okay, two things that I'm going to qualify as bad buys. The first one isn't so much a bad buy as it is just a bad offer that I accepted. Um, it's a Lane Bryant plus size 20 slim boot cut genius fit jeans high rise medium wash. So this pair of jeans took 261 days to sell on eBay. That's one reason I would qualify it as a bad buy, anything that's taking that long to move out. But maybe there was something about my photos or the listing, because typically Lane Bryant jeans do pretty well for me. Boot cut, I believe, are still something people are looking for. Sold for $21.12, but that does include the cost of shipping. I had paid $4.87, so my profit was only $2. That's sad. And my last bad buy is a pair of shorts that would have sold for more had they not had a torn belt loop. So Vince size two Bermuda shorts, cream stretch cotton, 12 and a half inch inseam, sold in 80 days on eBay for $14.49. I had paid $5.41 and my profit was $2.09. And because it had that torn belt loop, I listed it really low and took an even lower offer to get it moving out. I don't mind selling things with flaws. I think it's okay, but I really don't want to try to price something higher if it's got a flaw. You know, to me, I think about what how I would feel and, you know, I don't want to buy flawed items online that I can't return. And yes, you can return on eBay, but 
they would have to say it was for size or something. I mean, they could return it to me, but I'm not going to refund them the shipping if they didn't pay attention to the listing, you know? All right, so I'm going to just kind of briefly go over my other sales. Uh, a few things that sold. I sold a cashmere sweater from Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, I sold uh, another purse. Purses, um, I don't have very many, but the ones I've listed recently have, have sold. So that's good. Um, I sold a concho studded leather belt that's coming back to me because it is super tiny. And she said that it was only 26 inches. So I'm going to wonder when she submitted the return, if she tries to give me an item not as described because I show the tape measure and it shows 30 inches from end to end. Now you have to keep in mind, you know, where the grommet is and where the little um, hook is, but it's still not only 26 inches. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, a Peter Millar Summer Comfort, a couple of pairs of jeans, and a video game, and a romper. So those are just a few of the other things I sold. My total sales were $780.65, but after cost of goods and fees, my profit was $427.67. My average profit per item is up, which I'm very excited, at $17.82. My average cost of goods was $4.63. Again, I'm trying to keep that under $5, and I did. And the average days to sell was 59 days, so that's awesome. But it also means that I wasn't moving out a lot of old inventory, and I think the reason my average cost of, or my average time days to sell I'll get it right eventually, was higher in the last few weeks because I had been relisting, delisting and relisting so much and getting those older things sold and out of there. And I didn't do that as much this past week. So, you know, although I want that average days to sell to be low, I do still have some old stuff in my closet that I want to move out. So it's not a terrible thing if that thing is, that number is higher. I feel like I did that really quickly. Um, did I miss anything? I probably didn't mention that it would be awesome if you give me a thumbs up if you like this. I am very new. I am trying to increase my subscriber base. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be cool too. I am doing two to three videos a week and I have a fall haul coming up because I'm looking forward to fall. And I also will have, I picked up a hundred new things, 109 to be exact, um, this past couple of days, um, just at those, you know, Waxahachie, Italy, and Waco, I think I mentioned before, some towns that I haven't thrifted in before, um, two of those are, and I picked up some good stuff. So I'll be recording that later this week as well and try to get it up by the weekend. So some good things to look forward to if you want to see some hauls. And of course, every week I do a what sold for the week. I think that's all I have. Please leave a comment below um, just to say hi or if you have any questions. And I promise to get back to you. I hope everyone's having a great weekend and just keep listening. That's a lot of talking.